as you probably all know that by now that we've been involved in writing a book. Swami Lalitananda and me and, and now Clea. And um, it's based on, it is, my reflections. It's from my diary. So I thought tonight to um, just impress upon you the, the, what you have in your diaries and how to make them more what you really want them to be. This reflection for Swami Radha was very important. She called it like the, the treasure chest that you would ha could go back to or the gold mine that you could mine with all, all your reflections and all the events of your life. And, and I, like I had a, a journal and I had the diary and I had the reflections, but I never thought someone else would read them <laughs> <laughs> or that I would have to say them out loud. So it, it's been a process of it, just accepting where I started and all the things that I worked through. And she has said over and over that it really is up to you what you do with what you have. And to, to look back and then be able to accept myself at the beginning, the middle, the middle, the middle, the middle, and then finally, you know, it was a time when she wasn't there anymore. She died. And so then there's another part. But just to take myself in, in this book through that part of preparing to come and take over. And it happened so suddenly then after I was the president that, um, that she died. So I, when going back and looking through what I was experiencing all along was the preparation for what I had to do. And um, if you think spiritual life is easy, this isn't the place for you. <laughs> it's very difficult to go through all those stages in yourself and in other people. And it's, it's really through her teachings and capturing them for what I experienced with them, then to have that so much part of, of who I am now. Like, it's just going back and having not lost not lost it. It's all there. And um, it really is, in, it really um, makes me understand myself more about what spiritual life is about and just what um, a gift I've been given in terms of the teaching. It really helped me through so many things. So there's some ways that you can, I mean, sometimes people say that they've just written, you know, just comments or criticisms of themselves and other things that are happening. But how can you make it into that treasure chest? How can you begin to take what you have and, and really work with it. So that you're reporting on the events of your day, the thoughts, the interpretations, the, like, the questions that you have, and just seeing how, you, how you're working, how your mind is working. And then like it's, you can draw on that again. You can go back and read it. Make your little summaries. And 
it's a formidable task to do this self-development. It's not something that comes easily. You have to work. And so you have to have somewhere where there's, that, where there's a place you can go back and, and look at what you've done, look at what you're doing, accepting the facts of your life as they are. And charting your own process, like no one needs to tell you, you don't need to reach out to someone else and get that mirroring back. You can mirror back right in your own reflections. You can discover your old traps and you can even stop them before they happen again. If you, if you develop that awareness. And you can begin to understand your intuition when it comes, and the reason, reasoning part too. So you, have, you begin to have a fullness of your life. So you develop a practice of writing, of journaling, of observing, and, and building that awareness. Just what is happening, who you are. So it's possible then to, um, to have mastery over your life, your, where you're going, the choices you make. So it's good to have something that um, helps you, like bring some, you know, some zest into your into your uh, journaling, you want to stimulate your thinking. And one of the best things is asking yourself questions, like I see, I, you know, what is, what's happening? I wonder what I can do. You know, who's, you know, and how does that feel? You know, so you're, you're, you're stimulating your writing. So you can almost imagine that this is going to be very useful to you. So what are the insights that you have? What inspired me today? What were the choices I made? So if you can see, begin to see that there's um, always something happening that can be a learning. And then how do you put it into action? so that it doesn't just stay in the book. What have you observed? What are your opinions? What did you risk? What did you go for safety instead of playing it safe, instead of taking a risk on something? What did you express? What did you suppress? What did you want to look at? What didn't you want to look at? So it, you can also choose a quality that you want to develop and, and um, see it through. How am I doing on this? Like with patience or listening. You can review your ideals. So like you can do your writing and then at the end of the week you can look it over. It's just like when we're doing things in class, we write things down and then at the end of the day you read through everything to see what you've written because already it's you know, fading away. You have to draw it back in and knit it back into your life. So it's the depth of your understanding that counts. It, and it's up to you. Don't just skim the top, the surface. Go deeper with your understanding. Jay.